Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Um, I've had lots of questions about how did I get Google Drive to talk to my Apple Watch. So I thought I'd do a tutorial on showing you that through. Look, if you haven't seen ifttt.com, please go and have a look. Um, I think it's the future of app interactions on mobile devices where we can actually get the apps that are on our iPad to actually do what we want it to do instead of the developers kind of choosing. And that's been, I guess, the uh, the starting point for this tutorial. So um, have a look at it. They've got a couple of apps um, on the App Store uh, at the moment, uh, specifically the If and the Do Note. Um, the Do Note is the one that I'm going to concentrate. And basically, it works upon recipes. So um, how it actually works is there's channels. Uh, you put two apps together, and it actually accomplishes a task. Um, so I'm going to show you that on my iPhone, because obviously the iPhone is the key ingredient with the Apple Watch. Um, and I'll show you how that actually goes about it. So we've got some recipes. We've got different channels, like the Google Drive channel um, and so forth. So if I look over here at the Do Note on my iPad, so I'll just go there. Um, what we can actually do is we can actually tell uh, the Do Note that when I create a Do Note, um, then I actually want an action to be applied. Um, so I'm actually not using Google Drive at all. So I'm going to select Do Note on the right here, and you can see here it's, I've already got it set up. So what I'm going to actually do is hit the little recipe down the bottom, and you can see here that I've already got one recipe that says, basically, if I tap on it, um, that when I conduct a text, it will go automatically to my Google Drive. So if I actually type in there, test, and I hit my little Google Drive button, it actually goes to my Google Drive, will create a new, you can see the little tick there, um, a new row on my spreadsheet, and off I go. And that's exactly what I did with my Apple Watch, um, but instead of that, I used the dictation function, obviously, on the Apple Watch instead of actually typing. So how do we actually go about doing that? Well, the first thing you probably need to do is download the Do Note. Um, I'd also suggest that you sign in here to um, IFTTT. You can see I'm actually in there, and there's got a, a lot of great recipes that you can actually have a play with. So when you're in Do Note, uh, let's, let's see how it looks. So I'm going to press plus. Let's add a new recipe, and I'll talk you through. There's lots of little recipes that you can actually do, some recommended and so forth. Uh, what we're going to do is a quick search for Google Drive. Oops, let me go back here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick search on Google. And you can see there, there's some really, really good ones there. So I'm going to do the old, um, uh, let's create a new document. Let's do something a little bit different in Google Drive. So I'm going to click on create a new document. When I click on that, uh, before it actually gets saved, what I can actually do is put the uh, the name of the, the Google document that will be created. So I'll just put test there. Um, the folder path, so when you sign into Google Drive, it actually lets you um, put it in a specific folder. I'll do test as well there. Oops. Test. Um, and then I basically click add. It'll ask to grant access, and I'll do that, and I'll certainly allow the Do Note app to access um, those facilities. And there you can see that I've got my new Do Note. Now, if I press on the little recipe again, the little bowl there, and I actually click on the um, one that I've just created and the pencil tool, you can see there that that's all my, um, all my things there. If I press on the show all fields, it actually, the content of what I actually want to apply um, actually will come up on my Google spreadsheet. So if I want things like where it occurred, um, the note text is important because obviously that's the, the text that's going to come up in your Google. Um, and then you've got your path there. And then you simply press save. So what we've actually done there is created a recipe. So now when we actually get out of that and we are now creating a new document, this is where I put in the the text. Um, so if I say, um, is this working? And what I actually did on my um, Apple Watch was obviously use the dictation, and then I press the Google. Uh, that actually goes through. I get a little ticky box at the top, and then that's basically done. That'll add a new row to my spreadsheet. Um, a little bit of a warning when, when we're using Do Note or even the if statement there, 
Um, a little bit of a warning that sometimes it doesn't connect with Google. You know, there's still, um, I think, a little few little glitches there in regard to actually talking to it and integrating it properly. But it's certainly worth exploring because I think the Apple Watch um, teachers have been really struggling to find uh, context in regard to how I can use it in my general teaching and learning. And I, I think do note and the if statement um, are really, really effective ways that I can start to to experiment with it and uh, um, really, really easy to do. And I think this is the real future of, of app development and using it uh, in regard to mobile devices and interacting. So that's a quick tutorial looking at um, the really, really impressive work from IFTTT, uh, specifically the Do Note app. Um, you can also use the Do Note app if you want to create a recipe, for example, when I actually speak into my watch. Uh, it can uh, create a, tw a, a, Twitter, um, a, a Twitter message or uh, you could do a whole range of different things depending on the channels and the recipe that you actually create. So that's Paul Hamilton here signing off. Hope you found that really useful. If you haven't had a look at the ifttt.com, um, please have a look because there's some brilliant stuff there that people have created, um, a new way of interacting with applications on your mobile device. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.